Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, guys? So we're back. Today's the day I break 90 miles an hour on the tee. Gonna get loose real quick, then we'll go right into it. A couple of people have been asking why I've been hitting off the tee so much, so, um, and why I'm trying to go for 90 when this is road to 400. Well, I, I just figured um, it'd be, if I wanna get to 400 miles an hour, or 400, 400 miles an hour, uh, I'm gonna have to get into an airplane. Um, if I wanna get to, to 90 or to 400 feet, I need to get to 90 off the tee, all right? So I figured I got a tee in my house, um, and so it's easy for me to kind of do this down here. Once I get to 90, which is going to be today, or better be today, then I'm gonna go back into the facility and start hitting um, on the uh, Rapsodo to hit 400 feet, okay? So just to give you guys an idea of what we're doing. Oh, okay, I'm good back there. Let's get loose real quick off the tee. Uh, I have not hit again in, um, I haven't hit since the last time you guys saw me hit. All right, so I have been slacking on my hitting. This is the, uh, this is the busiest time of year right now for baseball for me. I'm in the facility probably, I was just trying to do the math. I'm doing at least 50 hours a week of just baseball training. And that's not counting all the other things I do with YouTube and uh, administrative stuff and all that. So um, everyone's getting ready for baseball. And so I haven't been able to hit as much, but I have been working out consistently. I'm still going about three to four times a, a week and I'm eating a lot more. I've upped my calories like a ton and I'm putting on a good amount of weight pretty quickly. Hopefully it's not all fat, but at this point, who really cares? I just want as much weight behind the ball as possible. No, I'm not trying to get fat. Um, but I am eating a lot more. I've added an extra meal. I'm eating more at meals. And uh, I think I'm up to like 202 pounds right now, which is a career, not a career high. Um, it's a post-retirement. Can you call it a retirement? It's a post-being released high for me. Other thing I've been thinking up too, I've been going back and watching my old videos and uh, you know, I'm still trying to, I'm trying to get this leg loaded up, but like really being able to feel this leg. You know, when I go back to my best year of my career, 2007, when I hit, you know, 21 home runs, which was more, I hit almost as many that season as I did in all my other seasons combined. And, you know, I used to hit the ball that season, and I don't know what happened. Everyone thinks I went on steroids. I didn't go on steroids. I just hit the ball, and the ball went like 100 feet further than it ever did before, maybe 50 feet further. Um, and it didn't matter what league I did in the California League, and then I went to the Texas League and did it there too. And I was like, why do I have so much power? I've never had power before. I go back and look at my videos, and I, I can remember this too, just feeling really grounded and feeling like this, this back leg was like just powerful. And, and then I lost that. When I watched my swing, I went back and watched some of the swings that I've done down here. And even though I've tried to kind of get in good posture and, and I've tried to get a little lower, we talked about that last video, I still feel like this leg is just kind of not really working as well as I want it to. So I'm gonna mess around today and I'm, I'm, I've been going in the mirror and just trying to like mimic that position I was in back in 2007. And it looks like I'm, I'm just like lower, like down here more. So we're gonna try that today, see if it has any, uh, any effect on this. All right, let's take the weight off. Cause I think that's part of what I kind of lost when my swing kind of fell apart was that feeling of being in the ground and feeling like I could make an explosive turn with my lower body. Um, and that's why I, we talked about before, when, I, when some of the coaches wanted me to stand up taller, I lost that feeling of like being able to use that back leg. And then I just kind of started to like, just fall into my front leg. And 
I mean, I couldn't hit the ball. I couldn't hit the ball. It felt like I was hitting at half the speed when I started doing that. A couple more warm ups. Few more. And, uh, I feel similar to how I did last time. I I was sitting on here, where I don't feel like I'm swinging very fast at all. But I don't know. Last time I got up to 88, so maybe I'll. It's like an old car, just in the 10 degree weather outside in New England. Takes a little while to get the engine warmed up. Felt a little better. I'm good. Let's go. All right, let's set it up and let's, we're getting 90 today. I don't care, I'll stay down here all day. You know? I'm not leaving. I'm not gonna leave it! The show goes off! They're gonna need to stand in the national battle! Because I ain't going out with it! Guys, that was torture. I just hit 88 and 89 miles an hour 150 times, it felt like. I was talking to myself. I was, I don't know why, I had Wolf of, <laughs> Wolf of Wall Street stuck in my head. When he tells everybody that he's not effing leaving, I kept repeating that every swing. I just kept convincing myself I was not leaving. I wasn't going upstairs until I hit 90 miles an hour. Everyone upstairs right now must think I'm an absolute weirdo. I'm surprised no one has come down. I've been yelling at myself, calling myself every name that I possibly could to get me to get one more mile an hour out of my body. And I did it. And here's the crazy part. I could not get 90. I couldn't get it. I hit 89. 50 times in a row it felt like. I didn't put all of them in there. You would have been bored sitting here watching all day. 
the last two swings, I said, I got to try something different. I literally tried this. So you know how I talk in a lot of my videos about trying to feel like getting palm up, palm down and getting the barrel to go like this. I literally took my bat, I got it in my stance. And as I got ready, I tried as hard as I could to feel this feeling, but without the bat moving. So like I, it's like I tried to split the, the handle of the bat into two pieces. And I just, I held, I did that. And then when I got ready, I did it as hard as I could. I literally tried to take the handle of the bat and snap it into two pieces. And boom, when I did it on the second swing, I hit 90 miles an hour. Unbelievable. I'm not telling you there's a magic bullet or a secret. I'm just telling you that's what just happened. So we made it to 90. Now we're going to 100. I'm just kidding. We're going to go in the facility now. Not right now. But we're going to go and we're going to hit the ball 400 feet. And I feel really good about it. Because best, this is best my swing has felt in forever. This is the first time I've swung this many times. I mean, I've hit now, like, how many times have we hit down here? Five, six times? That's more than I've hit in the last eight years combined. So let's go. 400 feet is next. If you've enjoyed this video and want to learn more about building the elite swing, check out our new course. We have over two hours of content, almost 30 hitting drills. We break down the exact mechanics that you're going to want to implement into your swing. I've put the link in the description if you want to go check it out.